Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you guys how to make rice and peas. So first you need to have some peas soaking. You could do overnight or early in the morning when you get up before you start cooking. I did this like around 7 o'clock. It's been soaking since 7.30 actually. So the time now. So you do this because um, it'd be easy to cook. So now I'm just gonna pour all of this in the pot. That was looking. And then I'm gonna add some salt. I'm gonna add garlic. Some garlic. Some pimento. And then I'm gonna cover it. I was gonna use a pressure cooker, but since everyone don't have a pressure cooker, I'm just gonna do it this way for you guys and see how long it takes for the piece to cook. 245, so when it starts, when it's finished cooking, then I'll come back. So my water is like half. Yeah, you can see that it's hard. And my bad guys, let me just tell y'all. I know I made a video like this already, but I just want to do a separate video. So again, we're using the red kidney bean, the Goya one. And when you soak it overnight, it gives, it's just to have like a reddish color or a pink color, reddish color, yeah. So. Start boiling when it's finished cooking, I will come back. So, right here, it's finished cooking. So, you could say it takes like 30 to 35 minutes 35 minutes, but 30 minutes, I'm pretty sure it will be cooking 30 minutes. So, yeah, you're just looking for the, the piece to be soft, so that's how you know it's cooked. So, now I'm gonna add my scallion thyme. I have my coconut milk first. Hold on. Okay, now adding the coconut milk. That was scallion, thyme, and pepper. And then mix it up. Let it boil. And you add your rice. Oh, I put my pepper because I wanted some more to cut the pepper because I don't want it. I cut mine. I don't always do that though, so. So when it starts boiling, I'll come back and add my rice. Okay guys, I'm going to add my rice. finished cooking you take out the scallion thyme and the pepper um i would say the pimento too but the, you're not gonna be able to take out all the pimento so you just leave it and just 
go around it when you're eating the rice. That's what I do. And yeah, I know my hand got a little too heavy with the pimento because I don't even like pimento like that. So I just needed to add like four or five pieces. You don't need all that pimento. I added just four or five, four or five pieces and you're good. So my rice is good. And even though it was good, I did put it on the foil paper, the foil for like five minutes. Cause I feel like the bottom was still was still wet a little bit, so I did put the foil paper on. The top looked very cooked and shelly, but at the bottom it was. I don't feel I didn't feel like it was cooked all the way, so I did add the foil paper on for another five minutes. 